Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, namaste. My name is Dr. Rakshita and this channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if any of these interest you, don't forget to subscribe. So guys, in today's video, we have three new sunscreens that we are going to review. The three of them are from, from Plum. All three of these sunscreens are Plum's newest launches. This one was launched a while ago, as you can see. I have used this one up pretty good. These two I received pretty lately and I have tried both of these out and I have my solid reviews on all three of them. So in today's video, we will be discussing about all three videos, what ingredients are in there, how these sunscreens perform and everything you want to know related to them. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so let's start with, uh, first let's start with their green tea and peptide daily sunscreen serum. I hope you can see it. Now I'm going to be looking down a little because I've written all the important ingredients on a piece of paper so I can tell you about all the sun filters in here. So yeah. Uh, the first sun filter in here is homo salate. Now this is not a very stable sun filter. It's just used to provide, you know, like UVB sun protection, but it has really low SPF properties and it's not very photo stable. So on its own, it's not great. And also it's not really frequently used, but it's there in the ingredients list of this product. Then there is Uvinyl MC80 or as they've written at the back of the label, octyl methoxy cinnamate. Now, a lot of sun filters have different names. So I generally opt for the shorter name, but a lot of people seem to have problems with that because they feel I've changed the name or I'm lying about the sun filters. But just to tell you, there is octyl methoxy cinnamate, also called as UNL MC80 in here, which is a UVB sun filter. Then there is avobenzone, which is a UVA sun filter. For those of you who don't know what UVA and UVB rays do, UVA rays from the sun cause sun aging and UVB sun rays cause photo burning or sun burning. So basically these particular filters prevents, prevent against the so aforementioned uh, sun rays. So like I said, avobenzone provides UVA ray, ray protection. Then there is octyl salicylate which provides UVB sun protection. Then apart from these sun filters, these were the four sun filters in here. Then we have niacinamide, we have green tea and we have acetyl hexapeptide 8 which is basically a peptide. It's a moisturizing nourishing agent. <clears throat> so like it says, it does have green tea and peptide. Also, it additionally has niacinamide in it. Now, none of these ingredients are like very high up. It's basically a sunscreen with just added skin benefits. So I like it for that. Now talking about this one, of course, I will insert a video of me putting this on my skin. Let me tell you, I um, do not like this sunscreen in short. This sunscreen is very oily in texture. When you'll put this on, you'll know it's like really shiny, makes, has like a really oily residue, like on your hands, on your face. This sunscreen would have worked so well during the winter months when our skin is comparatively drier. For summer months, I just feel like this is way too oily. But if you are somebody from the extremely dry skin type family, you would love this. I... <laughs> I am somebody who has a really oily skin type and for somebody like me, I opt for generally more lighter feeling sunscreens. This one didn't do that for me. It was very heavy. On me, it pulled pretty sweat resistant. I don't sweat a lot on my face, so it was sweat resistant on me. I don't know if they claim it to be water resistant. If they do, I would mention it somewhere here. But yeah, on me, it was pretty sweat resistant as well. Also, this is more like a heavy on oils. It doesn't have oils. It's a silicone base that feels very oily. The second ingredient itself was like a very liquidy silicone. So that's why it feels very oily. But yeah, if you're somebody from the dry skin type family or if in general you live in a place where it's very dry or in winter seasons, this would be a very good sunscreen. But for people like me with very oily skin type, especially in the summer season, this just isn't it. So I didn't like it, but for, like I said, for oily skin type people or in this weather, I don't really recommend it. But during the winters, if you have drier skin type, why not you can give this one a go during that time. Alright guys, so the next sunscreen from them is their green tea and peptide sheer tinted sunscreen serum. I hope you can see this one. I get it that the light really reflects off of these, uh, you know, these products. So generally you can't. But yeah, 
for, for this one, let me just tell you, it's an exact copy of this one. I honestly did not find a difference except for the tint. They have the same, oh sorry, they have the same sun filters. They have the same exact feel. They are comprised of the same ingredients essentially the same ingredients the only difference is this one's tinted now i do not know what was the need of a tinted sunscreen given this one does not leave any white cast it had zero white cast and so this one doesn't either and the tint is not very strong also like you would feel that okay it's a tinted sunscreen so it could replace your foundations or concealers or it would just even your skin tone out on my skin tone i didn't really see that happening i do not know if you can see <laughs> One, it's a really liquidy sunscreen, by the way. So it drips off everywhere. You have to shake it before you use it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you can see. It's a very like skin colored, but a very light skin colored. I don't know who this was for. Given, I don't know. This is much fairer than even my skin tone. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter. Even if you're a very dark skin type person, this is not going to matter given this doesn't give you any kind of coverage or even tone or any tint at all. This one feels and performs exactly like this one. So if I didn't like this one, I naturally didn't like this one because again, exact same sun filters, the same four I mentioned earlier. This again has the same exact texture, very oily on the skin. Again, very liquidy, serum-like, just with a tint and a tint that doesn't really serve a purpose. You could honestly go for this one, it would be just like this one. So they practically released two very identical sunscreens that just one of them just has a, like a slight tint. Also, like I said, I didn't see the purpose. Both of these do not leave any white cast. This one doesn't either. So yeah, that's something I feel about it. Again, with this one, I did not like it because like I said, I'm a very oily skin type person. So this one would pull very oily on me. And given in these summer seasons, I want a sunscreen that's much lighter and this one doesn't cut it for me. For somebody who has very dry skin type or for somebody who lives in a very, you know, dry environment like hill stations or something, this might work for you. For somebody like me, my skin type, this wouldn't. So neither one of these two sunscreens worked for me. So they were a pretty disappointing uh, purchase for me. I purchased them myself. They weren't gifted to me. So a pretty disappointing purchase. But like I said, a few skin types would actually really enjoy it. And given these are really shiny and dewy, not exactly dewy, almost they pull shiny on your skin like you've put oil. So that's another thing. But not like i don't know how to exactly describe it it's just oily to me but a very dry skin type person might benefit from this also to you also i would suggest moisturize a little less and then go in with this otherwise again even on you it might pull a little shiny which this one tends to you have to shake them before use as it's mentioned on here and yeah no white cast feels greasy almost and yeah that's that's all I have to say. Like I discussed, uh, both of them have similar ingredients. Both of them have niacinamide, green tea and hexapeptidate. Uh, this one, again, have the same sun filters. So you just, if you really want to try it, buy one, choose your pick. Even this tinted one doesn't serve a purpose. So just choose one. You don't have to buy both of them. Down to the third sunscreen they released right before these ones. It's their rice water and niacinamide 2% hybrid sunscreen. Now, as you can see by the condition of this tube that I actually really love this one. This is such a brilliant product from them. I would read out the sun filters to you right away. This uh, sunscreen has octinoxate, which is a UVB ray sun filter. Then it has avobenzone, which is again UVA ray sun filter. There is benzophenone 3, which is a broad spectrum sun filter, protects you against UVA and UVB rays both. Then again, there is titanium dioxide in here, which is a mineral sun filter now, provides broad spectrum sun protection. So this has both organic and mineral sun filters. Mineral a lot less than the organic sun filters. Then there is niacinamide in here as well, which is a nice brightening agent. Works pretty <clears throat> well on your skin. Then there is right uh, rice ferment filtrate and rice extract. Now, I don't know about rice being brightening and whatnot that people claim, but what rice definitely does rice extract is to nourish your skin. It's a good moisturizer. It's a good humectant. So that property definitely serves. Now with this sunscreen, it is an SPF of 50, PA of 3 pluses. The other two were also SPF of 50, but PA of 4 pluses. 
now a spf rating means how much your sunscreen is going to protect you against sun burning and your pa rating is how much your sunscreen is going to protect you against photo aging now an spf of 30 to between 30 to 50 is enough for us and now an spf of 30 to 50 is enough for us and a pa rating of 3 plus and above is just right so with this one i would include a clip of me applying this on my skin this is a gel cream uh, hybrid sunscreen it feels like a cream but in a very water light gel based texture it's just such a beautiful texture it seeps into your skin almost immediately this one did not have any white cast on me though this does pull a little uh, it has a little tone up effect that immediately makes your skin looks a little more whiter so i would want drier uh, darker skin types to definitely patch test it first i can't really vouch for really dark skin types if this would have some white cast on them or not but i'm supposing not because initially it has that tone up effect or that extra white effect doesn't have a white cast i'm repeating again there's there's a difference between a white cast and a tone up effect it has that but i'll tell you what it seeps in your skin almost invisibly in like 15 20 minutes so i don't think this would have white cast on anybody it is just such a flawless beautiful formulation of a sunscreen on me this was completely sweat resistant like i said i don't sweat a lot from my face anyway but on me this pulled completely sweat resistant again i do not know about this being water resistant if i find out i will put it somewhere here but yeah this sunscreen was absolutely beautiful so nourishing so moisturizing with this sunscreen i didn't really feel the need for a moisturizer also in the morning i like i said i'm a very oily skin type person so this served both the purposes of a moisturizer and of a sunscreen for me so this particular sunscreen is definitely a recommendation from my end especially for people who have skin type like mine you would really enjoy this and i love it and i would honestly prefer this over these two Alright guys, so with that we've reached the end of today's video. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you've used these products and what was your experience with them. I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.